Hello, my sports fans. This is the Sports Guy, and you are listening to the Sports Guy 450 Podcast. This is the Raw Review for February the 26th, 2024. This is the trailer. The next show will be the Raw Review. Oh, it was jam-packed. A lot to get into. Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, face-to-face, Cody in a match. And there is something that happened after the match. And more. So make sure you listen to the next episode. Hello, hello, my friends. What are you trying to say? Will you come see me on the next episode? Oh, who am I? This is funny. (laughs) So we will see you, especially me. I know you'll come see me on the next episode. See you over there. Hello, my sports fans. This is the Sports Guy, and you are listening to the Sports Guy 450 Podcast. This is the Raw Review for February the 26th, 2024. The Raw Review. February 26, 2024. A lot to get into. We're not going to waste no time. We're going to send it over to Funny, my co-host, and uh, let's let him give us the review. Well, you kind of, you know, introduced me kind of halfway good. This is Funny! And that's what I do, because the sports guy is dry, and he's always going to be dry. (laughs) But no worries, because I'll take care of the dryness. Now, let's get down the business. The raw review for February the 26th, 2024. Let's go. Dominique Mysterio, Dirty Dom. Well... He was in the ring and he called out money. Yeah, he did. He called her out to the ring. So Rhea Ripley comes out to the ring and start doing her promo like she does. And Becky Lynch, her music comes on and she comes out to the ring and, you know, they go back and forth, you know, uh, promo back and forth because Becky won the Elimination Chamber so she's now the number one contender for the Women's World title so it will be at Wrestlemania 40 Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley for the Women's World Championship we'll see how this builds and how this goes but you know I think that uh you know and listen when Rhea well, you know, she finished and dropped her mic and was getting out the ring. Well, out of nowhere, Nia Jax runs in the ring from behind and hits. Well, hits Becky from behind and Becky goes down and she puts some, you know, multiple leg drops on Becky Lynch. You know, pretty heavy, massive leg drops and she looks over at Rhea as Rhea is backing, you know, down the ramp, you know, her exit, and she was like, this is not over, you know, like, I guess you and me, it's t- you might have won that elimination, but, you know, chamber, but it's not over, you know, it's still more to come, and then Nia Jax was backstage, you know, with an interview, saying, hey, Becky Lynch shouldn't be in WrestleMania for the world title, you know, against you know, you know, she shouldn't have that t- uh, title match against Mommy, real Ripley. She shouldn't have it. It should be me, Nia Jax. And said that Becky would not make it to WrestleMania. Hmm. 
Wonder what's up with that? Sammy Zoo versus Shinsuke Nakamura. You know, Sammy lost a couple weeks back against Shinsuke. Drew McIntyre ran out and distracted Sammy. And, well, Shinsuke did his finisher and won the match. But tonight on Raw, Sammy won with his finisher. Clue. No cheating, no nothing. He won that match. Fair and square, as they say. He beat Shinsuke in the middle of the ring after putting his finisher on Shinsuke. So Sammy wins on Raw. He breaks his losing streak. Imperium and New Day video. Talking about their past history because they are going to have a Raw, uh, have a match on Raw. A street fight. No DQ later on in the show. And then Cody Rose was backstage doing an interview and they the interviewer asked Cody, said, why did you challenge The Rock? Well, Cody was at Elimination Chamber on the uh, Grayson Waller Effect show. He challenged The Rock. Cody said, hey, he said on Raw, hey, I challenged The Rock anywhere, anytime, any place. Imperium promo. Yeah, they was in the ring. Then the Judgment Day came out to the ring. And it, Imperium and Judgment Day face to face. Now, Damien Priest was in the face of Gunter, said, Big Bad Gunter. <laughs> and basically, Damien Priest said, Hey, we coming after that Intercontinental Championship. Well, then Dirty Dom kind of jumps in front of Priest and gets in front of uh, Big Bad Gunter, <laughs> as Damien said. And, well, you know, Big Bad Gunter pushed Dominique, Dirty Dom, and then the Judgment Day and, you know, Imperium, they got all rowdy with each other back and forth. And But Priest, I noticed he seemed to be the one that was more on fire about, you know, going at, after Gunther more than Dominique when they was backstage. Well, Mommy walked up to, you know, Dirty Dom. She wasn't happy. Mm-mm. Mommy wasn't happy about uh, Dominique, you know, trying to challenge Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship, you know, that she worried about his chest probably getting messed up by them chops by Gunther. <laughs> and so, you know, I don't know how that's going to work out for him, but then Drew McIntyre, he comes to the ring. He has his promo because, you know, Drew McIntyre won the Elimination Chamber 2024. So he's going on one-on-one with Seth Rollins for the world title, WrestleMania. And, you know, Drew McIntyre said that he had a busted uh, eardrum in that match and said that the doctor told him, said, hey, you may not be able to go to WrestleMania. And said, Drew McIntyre said, who do you think I am, CM Punk? <laughs> and he made some more jokes about CM Punk. And, and he even sat down in the ring. Like CM Punk does, cross his legs, sit in the middle of the ring. He even did that while he was making jokes. Then he, Drew McIntyre calls out the world champion, Seth Rollins. And Seth comes out. They stand face to face. Drew basically saying, hey, will you please don't get involved with Cody and the Judgment Day because they're just going to interfere in our match and, and just and mess up things. And Seth Rollins basically said, hey, look, some things are worth taking a risk for. Hmm. So we'll see how that works out. Cody Rhodes, main event, versus Grayson Waller. Well, Cody did win that match using his finisher, the crossroads. Then after the match, you know, Cody music is on, Paul Heyman comes out, and he has three guys in black suits. Paul Heyman says they are, um, they are from the NYPD. Well, they suspended guys from the NYPD. And basically, Paul began to tell Cody, hey, look, withdraw your challenge that you have made, you know, to challenge The Rock anywhere, any place, anytime. Withdraw. And Cody basically was like, uh, no, no, not going to happen. And the, and the guys, the three guys came in. Well, Paul did ask, could he come in the ring? Cody told him no. So the three guys in the black suit that Paul brought, they ran in the ring, and Cody, you know, just laid into him because he already had a chair in the ring that he had got when Paul first came out. So 
He gave those guys some of that check. <laughs> and as Paul was leaving, you know how he usually pulls out the phone and says, Call Roman Reigns. Well, he did something new today. He pulled out two phones. One for The Rock and one for Roman Reigns. Wow. Well, Cody Rose said he's hunting the bloodline. They not hunting him. So there you have it. This is the Raw VB. Oh man, this was a pretty nice show. There's a lot to cover there. Wow. Man, real Ripley. You know, face to face, Becky Lynch. Uh, what do you guys think about that match at WrestleMania for the Women's World Championship? Who you going for? You going for Rhea Ripley? Becky Lynch? Do you think Nia Jax is going to take Becky out before WrestleMania? Or do you think that it's going to turn out to be a three-way? Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, and Nia Jax for the Women's World title. But right now, it's just Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. WrestleMania 40 for the Women's World title. You know, Rhea Ripley, you know, she did defeat Nia Jax at the Elimination Chamber. You know, so we'll we'll see how that works out because Nia Jax did have a match against uh, Liv Morgan later on on Raw. And Becky Lynch did come in and cause a DQ and attack, uh, you know, uh, well, yeah, Becky Lynch attacks Nia Jax during that match with Liv Morgan on Raw and calls the DQ. So we'll see how that develops and builds, you know. So, you know, so, you know, Sami Zayn, I'm glad he won because he was on a losing streak. So maybe this will be some momentum, you know. And I just noticed how Drew seems to be everywhere and everybody's, you know, matches and things. He's, Drew is a whole new character right now, which I love it. I mean, how do you guys like that with what Drew's doing? You know, so Cody is challenging The Rock. Any place, anywhere, anytime. Hmm. Cody and The Rock. That'd be a good match, I think, you know. Uh, but it seems that Paul don't want that. He don't want no, you know, uh, you know, and it surprised me that now he has two phones. That, that, I mean, he ne listen, he never had a phone for the rest of the bloodline, only Roman Reigns. You know, one time the phone was red, but it, it you know, none of the Jay or Jimmy or Solo there, you know, Paul didn't never call them like that on the phone. So, the, is it that, that Rock is like the same level now as Roman in the bloodline? Because well, that's what it seems to be. You know, they're kind of putting him, you know, up there with the tribal chief. Are they co-tribal chiefs now? Mm. It makes you think, huh? Because, I mean, they are building, you know, the rock just right there with Roman. Paul's kind of treating the rock. I mean, he has, the rock has his own phone now. So Paul Heyman had two phones on Raw when he was leaving after Cody, you know, beat up the guys in the black suits from the NYPD that was suspended that Paul brought out. Cody took those guys out. So as Paul was leaving, he takes out two phones. You know how he does? He said, call Roman. Then he said, call The Rock. Two separate phones. Hmm. It makes you think. So now, The Rock and Roman has two phones. I'm going to tell you, the, this thing with the Judgment Day and Imperium, I think that, you know, I won't be surprised. I mean, I feel for Dominique. I don't think it's going to go probably in Dominique's way. But... Damian Priest seems to be the one. Maybe Damian Priest is going to use his briefcase to go after the Intercontinental. Because they did this same thing. Used to it was the briefcase, you know, uh, 
you know, the Money in the Bank briefcase, you go after the world title, you know, the WWE title. But, you know, last year they did this with, you know, the United States title. Austin Theory, you know, end up cashing in getting the United States title. So they are seeming to be going in this direction with the Intercontinental title with Damian Priest. Uh, maybe Damian versus, you know, Gunther, you know, at WrestleMania. So we'll see how that goes. Cause that, cause that's, Damian seems to be the one that was more on fire and intense than talking to Gunther more than Dominique. Dominique jumped in there, but the fire was more Damian Priest. He was the one that had the intensity. He was the one that seemed to make more eye, eye contact than more direct verbal conversation, you know, in his promo towards Gunther more than anyone else in the Judgment Day. Drew McIntyre, yeah, he was backstage also and said some things to uh, Jay Uso, because Jay Uso had an interview and he was like, hey, you know, I keep falling short in my matches. I fell short with, for the Intercontinental Championship. I keep falling short. Then Drew McIntyre walks up and said, hey, you deserved all of this. <laughs> yeah, he said that. And they went at it back and forth backstage. Hmm. Yeah, so Drew McIntyre, he's a little everywhere right now. He's busy, you know, so Drew McIntyre promo in the ring with Seth Rollins. I think that, you know, in itself, you know, you know, because I think that's going to continue to build because Seth Rollins was worried about being Cody's shield. They shook hands, Cody and Seth Rollins, uh, doing, you know, the Elimination Chamber, doing the Grayson Waller effect show. So Cody, I guess, is accepting Seth Rollins to be his shield. But Seth Rollins got his hands full. He got his own world title that he got to defend. Cody don't have a title. He's trying to get one. So, you know, I don't know, you know, <laughs> it seems to be, you know, you're not putting your focus on, you know, the right place, I don't think, maybe, but hey, we'll see. And then with Drew McIntyre just making jokes on CM Punk, he just keeps clowning CM Punk. Haven't seen CM Punk here recently, so I don't know what's going on with that. It's been a few weeks. But I think that something's building because Drew is not letting off a CM Punk. So I think something's building there. You know, so there you have it. The Raw review and the breakdown for this week's Raw. So now, well, funny. Yeah, I was looking at you funny. Uh-huh, because I was saying to myself, I hope we still have at least one listener because you was putting... Everybody sleep. <laughs> oh my goodness, you just so dry you can't help yourself. You just uh, you under dry would be you <laughs> right there. Just to take a picture and just put you right there beside the uh, dryness. <laughs> I'm sorry. This week's <laughs> big moment surprise by Mr. Dryness himself, the sports guy. <laughs> wow. He, he, he won't even say nothing. Come on, sports guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold, funny. That's cold. This week's Raw, big moment surprise. Drew McIntyre. Backstage, says to, says to Jay, hey, you deserve this. Now that was the big surprise for me. Cause I wasn't even expecting Drew McIntyre to even be trying to deal with Jay right now. Cause he's got his hands full with Seth Rollins world title. He's interfered in Sami Zayn match a couple weeks ago. And you know, he's, uh, you know, of course have a attack Cody here and there. So I didn't think he, you know, I know he had his issues with Jay because of the bloodline thing that interfered and caused him not to win the, you know, undisputed title, you know, last year or whenever he had his match, but I thought he had moved on. He shows up backstage while Jay is, you know, basically saying, hey, I, I keep falling short and basically look, he walks up to his face and tell him you deserve it. And they started throwing blows backstage. 
So maybe this may be a, a match that they, you know, billing for Raw. So that was a very surprising moment. So this week, big moment surprise. Drew McIntyre tells Jay Uso, you deserve this. This week's winners and losers by funny. This week's winners and losers. Man, I don't know if y'all familiar with the way how I do winners and losers. Just cause you're a winner don't mean you're a winner. Just cause you're a loser don't mean you're a loser. This week's winner is Becky Lynch. Well, I know you're saying, why is Becky Lynch a winner this week on Raw? Well, she don't, she didn't have to have a match against Nia Jax on Raw this week. Yeah, that's right, because she didn't have to worry about getting those leg drops. Uh, you know, that... <laughs> You know, because I'ma tell you, she she got the leg drops when she beat her up, but she didn't have to have those leg drops in a match because that would have been another loss. So this week's winner is Becky Lynch that she didn't have a match with Nia Jax, so she didn't have to have a loss on her record for Raw this week. <laughs> This week's loser, Dirty Dom and me, Mysterio, Dirty Dom, because mommy is not happy. She's not happy with Dirty Dom because, you know, you know, he tried to challenge Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship, and so mommy's not happy, and he's got to go against Gunther probably and get those Gunther chops. Ouch! So that's my winners and losers. Yeah, I feel for Dominique. You know, he, you know Dirty Dom got to go against, you know, as Pre said, Big Bad Gunther. I tell you, that's not going to be a, you know, those chops, you know, so mommy may not want to see, uh, you know, her Latina heat chip chest all, all red from those chops <laughs> from Gunther. This week's predictions by, well, you know who he is, the Spots guy. Well, this week's predictions overall in this storyline is I think that Drew McIntyre continually talking about CM Punk, making jokes. I believe that CM Punk will get involved in the Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins world title storyline. And I believe WrestleMania match. I believe that it's going to end up being a three-way at WrestleMania. Drew McIntyre versus CM Punk versus Seth Rollins for the WWE World Title WrestleMania 40. That is my predictions for this week's Raw storyline. Well, it's a good prediction and everything, but I'm pretty sure, like I always say, because I'm pretty sure, and you know, you're pretty consistent, consistently wrong. <laughs> oh, I know you're wrong, but it's okay because we all have learned that you, uh, sports guy, most of the time with your predictions are just as wrong as wrong can be. <laughs> But look, it's not a surprise to me or to our listen, listening audience out there that you're going to be wrong. We pretty much already know that, but we enjoy you trying. So don't stop trying, sports guy, because maybe sooner or later, 
later. You'll get one right. <laughs> Wow, I think I'm on, on the money on this one, funny. I think that we gonna see CM Punk. You know, they, they have did a delay with him being on TV, and this is kind of the deal for him showing up to get more of a pop of a surprise when he shows back up. So we'll see how that goes. Funny, are we taking any phone calls today? Well, if you want me to, I guess. Well, let's see if anybody calling. Let me see here. Well, I, I don't know. Well, wait a minute. I hear, I hear it ringing. You want me to get it or you gonna get it for me, guys? Well, I guess I'm gonna get it. This is the Sports Guy 450 Podcast. Who are we talking to today? Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Is the Sports Guy and the and Funny, are y'all home? Hello? <laughs> well, we in the studio. We not. We not. We not home. This is funny. Who, who am I talking to? Uh, well, I hope there's not one of them voicemail machine things, cause I I can't stand them voicemail. Is this a person I'm talking to, or this a voicemail machine? This, this is not a voicemail machine. This is funny, and I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm, I'm alive. And, I mean, I'm a real person. So, who, what's on your mind? Well, I was just trying to make sure it wasn't one of them, uh, uh them uh, AI things that they be talking to on the television. Cause every time you turn around, they say the uh, the AI coming for you and and thing taking over. So uh, you not no AI, are you? No, no, uh, I'm not AI. <laughs> Listen, we got a show going on here. Huh? What's on your mind? Tell me what's, what's going on. Well, my name is Upset Fan. And I have a lot to be upset about. Oh, okay. You Upset Fan. Well, well what's on your mind? What you upset about today? Well, I'm upset be- because how Nia Jax did Becky Lynch and, you know, attacking her like that from behind. Uh, you know, I-, I don't like that. I don't like people attacking people from behind. Do it in front of me. Don't attack me from behind. <laughs> so that-, that have you upset today, upset fan? No, it don't have me upset. It has me highly, highly upset. <laughs> so you highly upset because Nia Jack attacked Becky Lynch from behind, and you don't like that type of thing. Is that is that what you're saying? That's that's about right. I'm so upset because I, I don't know if you know, but I get up in the morning, I jump into my upsetness, and when I, you know, so, you know, I'm already has a, have a certain level of upsetness that, cause I jump into my upsetness every morning. And so when I found out how Nia Jax attacked Becky Lynch from behind, the upsetness level that I already had, it rises even higher, so it rose a lot today. So my level up of upsetness is very high right now. <laughs> okay. Well, well, there's nothing we can do about that. Well, mate. Well, listen. Overall. Becky Lynch near the end of the show doing the Liv Morgan versus Nia Jax match. That match didn't go on too long. Well, Becky Lynch came out of nowhere. I think she jumped from the announcer's desk or somewhere over in that area and jumped on Nia Jax and started going at it. So, you know, for a few moments, she did get some licks in, some payback for, because of all those leg drops. And speaking of leg drops, did you see that 
impact of those leg drops. Boom! And then she did it again. Boom! Oh my goodness. Yeah, she got her back at later on, but it wasn't nothing compared. I'm surprised she even made it out there later on to even do that after those leg drops. Because, oh my goodness, that seemed like it hurt. I'm so upset about that. <laughs> Well, luckily it wasn't you, you know, so, but we got to go. So, we thank you for calling in, Upset Fam, because we have a show to do. So, maybe you can call in on the next show, but we do have to go. So, we're going to say goodbye to you, okay? Thank you for calling in. Wait a minute, sports guy. You always do to try to rush me off. I still want to do my list of Upset this type thing that have me upset. I have a list here. Now, I'm going to get ready to start right now and go over my list. And don't you tell me no. So, I'm going to start my list right now on this show, right, this episode right now. And don't you hang up on me. Have a great day, uh, upset fan. Today, the raw review. But before you go, make sure you follow us on TikTok and Twitter X. Videos. I mean, I know I worked pretty hard with the sports guy. I didn't let him make a mess of it by himself. <laughs> so on um, TikTok and Twitter X at All Sports 450. At All Sports 450. Videos. Oh man, wrestling videos. Come on now. You gotta check us out. And the full podcast episode in video, the full podcast episodes, my friends, are on YouTube at It's A V V247. The letter of I T S. It's A V V247 on YouTube. Full podcast episodes. New episodes of the podcast show. Released on Wednesdays and Fridays. Make sure you look for those. We also release episodes, news update episodes. There are shorter episodes throughout the week. So you make sure you look out for that. Share, like, follow, tell somebody about us. And I hope to see you. I know you'll come see me on the next episode. Okay? I know you will. And we have a new episode for Dynamite. It'll be... be released on Friday, so make sure you look out for that one. See you on the next episode, my friends. You have been listening to The Raw Review. This is The Sports Guy, and you are listening to The Sports Guy 450 Podcast. See you on the next episode.